Hey, what's going on, guys? It's Mac Jack back with another video on the channel for you guys. Today, I'm gonna be back with another tutorial for you guys. Sorry, I'm doing a lot of the tutorials. I'm actually working on a skit right now, but um, obviously, I'm not done, so it's not out yet. Um, today, I'm gonna be teaching you how to do um, a clicking animation on Final Cut Pro. This can be like, subscribe, really anything be honest um yeah and it looks really cool and yeah i mean it really helps with videos and stuff so yeah what you'll need is um uh the button that you're gonna click sorry if you hear background noise there's like motorcycles in the background don't know why uh you have the button that you're gonna click and also actually a cursor so, yeah. So, um, this is a, like, more basic way. My anim subscribe animation, uh, I'll put it up right here on the video. Pretty much, as you can see, the, there's, like, two different kinds of, uh, cursors. Because that's actually what happens when you hover over something and click it. For the most part. But, uh... I'm going to be showing you a, a nice, easy version of the click. So, just get your image that you want to click, just like so, um, and take your cursor, you know, and let's say we want it to pop up here. We can resize it, obviously, to our liking. I'll use this and then move it off to the side. Then click on the transform tool right here. Click keyframe. Uh, move a couple frames forward. Like so. And move it onto your object. Here, you're gonna wanna take your blade tool by pressing B and uh, blading it right where it clicks like that. Or right where it gets there. So it should look something like this. Nice and easy. Now, what you're gonna wanna do is find like a place here. Here, I'm gonna zoom in on the video. Find a place here where you can cut it to, uh, you're gonna pretty much have two halves. So like not including this side, you're gonna have one half here and then another half right here. One for the cursor going, or like getting smaller on the click and one getting bigger. So let me show you what I mean. You're gonna blade it somewhere that you want it to get smaller. Let's zoom in here a bit. Uh, yeah. You're gonna blade it here in the middle, just like blade it pretty much and click here, click there and resize it so obviously it's a keyframe so we want to move it forward a bit make it smaller because that on clicks they go smaller and there you go so now right now what you have is whoa that is weird so now you have this like clicking thing but it gets kind of jerky so what you need to do is make another blade right here and from here you're gonna extend you're gonna put it at the same size that it last was so as you can see here guys if you click on this one it's at the very end of the keyframe which is right here. It says 13.85. So that's what we're gonna wanna adjust it to. So on this one, we want it to be 13.85, just like so. So now it just goes down to one size and then stays there. Yeah, so like it'll go down and just stay there. Now we want it to get bigger. 
Obviously, this is really slow, guys, but since it's a tutorial, I want to go through and teach you the exact way that you have to do this. Then you're going to want to right click or left click on the transform icon again and resize it to its original size. So here it says it's at 31.69. So that is what we were going to resize it to. Let's go through scroll through our clip and resize it to 31.69. Just like so. So you have like a basic click here. Obviously this is really, really slow. So um, obviously I'm teaching you, I'm not gonna like make it look really small so you can't see. It's really slow. So let's just create a new ca compound clip here and just, you know, basically just speed it up a bit cause it is indeed very slow. That's a bit better, but let's do it once more. Maybe. And you guys get the idea. So it's like this. It's a very good click animation. And then obviously you will want it to scroll off. So uh, let's do here. Obviously, you would want it to scroll off, so you would go here and then keyframe its uh, position, move forward on, on the clip, and drag it off. So it's really just keyframes, guys. So it would look something like this. And then, obviously, you could um, make the subscribe button go smaller and bigger with the mouse or cursor but I really do think it looks good like this and then you can also uh, drag in your mouse click sound effects <laughs> um, I will leave um, yeah I'll leave it around hmm I don't know where it clicks so it starts clicking right there so drag it to here obviously it's a bit off but you guys get the idea so that's just a basic click animation um, that you can do in Final Cut um, it's really cool it's really easy and yeah, I mean, it's it looks really cool. So, yeah, I think um, uh, it's a good animation for you guys to learn and have in your arsenal of skills. So, thank you so much for watching this video. I know it's kind of short, and if you guys know keyframes, you probably already knew how to do this. But I think this is good for the start starting people on Final Cut, and they can learn how to make uh, simple keyframe animations. So thank you so much for watching. Like I just said, sorry. Uh, click the like button if you did like the video and subscribe for more tutorials and content like this. And I'll see you guys on the next one.